smiling and always in a good humor. Uh, Lemmy Krusic is our our guest today. Hello, Lemmy. Nice to see you again. Hello, Martina. Long time no see. Still, I cannot see you because of the camera, but I think on the next KSW show, we're going to see us. I count on it. I count on it. Uh, also miss you because you are such a positive person. And uh, when we talk to each other, I always have a good humor and uh, always feel that uh, my my uh, the people the person I'm talking to is a, is a good person also. So let me tell me please how are you doing during this pandemic, this crazy COVID? Yeah, for me it was like normal all the time. I train two times a day. In the morning I basically went like more for it like running and more conditioning. And at evening we some of my guys you know here in Austria we. We trained, you know, or kickboxing or grappling or we did some wrestling. It was normal, only that was the problem. I gained weight, you know, because oh. I, I didn't look that much, you know, on the food, you know. So I eat, I ate more, almost everything, you know. So, so next fight in 145? <laughs> No, 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 not yet. <laughs> oh, God. Well, if we are talking about the way, uh, can, can you tell us uh, how much do you weigh today? I don't know how much I weigh today, but I, I think approximately 76 kilos. Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> so that's big. That's big difference. Um, eight weeks, eight weeks, and it's done. Really? Yes. Only eight weeks? Yes, eight weeks. Okay, so after the recording, I will ask you how do you do it. <laughs> uh, so for now, we know uh, two trainings a day, and um, you told us that uh, you have some friends with you could with uh, whom you can uh, spar with. So I understand that this is not a problem that uh, gyms are closed. No, we we were like hanging, you know, uh, separately training, you know. On the, we call ourselves hey today. What we do today, hey, let's do today kickboxing okay we went kickboxing and that's it you know without coach uh, yeah i have new 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 trainer here in austria alin span he was he's a romanian guy uh, and you know high le romania has high level kickboxers you know mm -hmm. and he's really good he he fought in some major shows in romania like super combat you know mm -hmm. and uh, my progress i see my progress now in stand up really good because the when i fought the last time you know, uh, I do punches, but my legs, you know, stay behind, you know, so this was the the biggest problem. And now we worked on this really hard, you know, so I think it will be good in the future. I mean, I think I know. So. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about uh, the past event, uh, KSW 51, and your fight uh, against Sebastian Przybysz. Um, there was an un uh, unanimous decision for uh, Sebastian. Um, when you look at this uh, fight, after some couple of weeks, couple of months even, um, how do you score this fight? Are you still thinking that this was fight for you? You should want that? Uh, I think I think it was majority draw, you know, because mm -hmm. he won the first round, I won the second, and uh, the third round was really tight, you know. But, you know, between the cage, you know, mm -hmm. the fight, you know, when we were flying all over the place, you know, I saw two judges, you know, they were watching their phones, you know. Mm -hmm. so I don't really know what they were watching. Probably some, you know, some some porn film, you know. Some <laughs> porn film. Because, you know, you know, normally, you know, these girls are getting dominated there, you know. But I was not getting dominated. So they, they put score 30-26, 30-27. I don't know what they were watching, you know. So probably some Lisa and porn, you know. But it's all good, you know. We all like porn, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is not an answer I was expecting, but okay. So let's talk about those judges because, as you said, uh, they were watching something else, not the fight, in your yeah, opinion, or maybe you saw that that they were looking for that on the phones. I saw two of them; they had telephone, <laughs> you know. So I said, yeah, probably they're watching some smashing, you know. Oh, okay. okay. Well, uh. We didn't talk about it after fight, I think. You you didn't tell me that after the fight. So I understand that but, this is something... You know, you I just... was a little bit, you know, also, uh, you know, hyped up, you know. It was oh, big. for sure. I forgot about this, this mm -hmm. small mm -hmm. detail, you know, but, you know... It is, not... it is a small issue, but very important thing. So so it's not good. If this <laughs> look like this, it's, it's really not good. But um, when we talked with Sebastian Przybysz after the fight, he said that he was confident about this uh, um, winning over you. 
And when the judge said that this will be an unanimous decision, when you uh, heard that, uh, were you sure this, this uh, score will be for you? No, the one judge said, you know, 29-28 uh, him, you know. Mm -hmm. One said 30-27 uh, and the other said 30-26, you know. Like I said, I don't know, you know, what happened. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was, in that moment, I thought that I win the fight, because won the fight because I was second round, you know, I, it's, it's mine. It's 10-9 round for me. This is how I saw it, you know. And the, the third round was you know, uh, there, there, you know, and I thought maybe, you know, I will win, maybe, for me, I was a little bit better, you know, in that time, mm -hmm. but when I watched the fight, I saw this was a draw, you know, first one, mm -hmm. he, first round, he won, the second round, uh, I won, the third was, was really tight round, you know, okay, maybe, maybe he had a little bit, like, one centimeter more than me, you know, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but then I said, okay, you know, if he win, okay, look, if he was better, he should win, you know, but 26, 27, but it's okay, you know, like I said, you know, these guys were watching Red Tube or some stuff, you know. <laughs> also. And, you know, Se Sebastian, you know, he was confident and this, you know. Uh, well, know, every fighter should be confident, I think, so yeah, maybe that's... Course. Definitely, I was also confident, you know, uh, but he will remember me, you know, for the rest of his life, you know. Oh, I think so. Yeah, he has on the forehead like five meter, uh, five centimeter vagina, you know. So <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's no problem, you know. But um, I think uh, I know, you know, I want, I want to have rematch with him, you know. I want to fight now, one fight win, and rematch with him, you know, mm -hmm. because it, there is not so much people in our category in our um, in our category in KSW. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely we will meet again. I think. Yeah, it's very possible. And uh, who do you see for you uh, in the next fight for KSW? And how does your contract with with KSW uh, looks like? Because of uh, those yeah. those pandemic and those crazy things are are happening. I'm, I'm not discussing. I'm not discussing money with you. Yeah. No, I'm not uh, talking about money. I just ask you. Uh, I'm asking about uh, how many fights do you have left uh, have, on your contract? I, I have three more fights mm -hmm. in KSW. Um, with who I should fight, uh, you know, um, I think there was some guy, he's also, he's also like grappler, like me, you know, wrestler, grappler, and he also goes like forward, you know, he has this forward uh, style, I mm -hmm. think his name is Kamil Selva, something Selva, like. yeah, Kamil yeah, Selva, mm -hmm. you know, this, this would be a good fight, you know, to fight, mm -hmm. you know? So, uh, are you in contact with KSW, do you have any informations from them, uh, about your next fight, the plans? No, at the moment I don't have, but, you know, uh, Drajan Porgac and Red, you know, Balkan boy, Ernest have contact with them every every week, I think, or every second week, you know. Mm -hmm. So this is probably it, you know, but but I think, I, I think, I, and I know they want me, you know, because, you know, I made fight of the night, you know. You did. And, and it's not the first fight of the night that I made, you know, before I fought many shows, you know, in Europe. And whenever I fought, it was fight of the night, you know, or I win or I lose, you know, it was a lot of time. So if, if I was in UFC, I would probably be rich, you know. But <laughs> Well, you never know. Maybe um, after a couple of fights in no, KSW, no, no, I you will. I don't, I, my goal is uh, K, uh, KSW belt and that's it. I don't care about UFC. Wow. Because uh, this belt is, uh, no, I don't know, it looks nicer or what? <laughs> oh, uh, this is my goal, you know, this mm -hmm. is my and it's... Okay, okay, so I think that Martin and Maciej would really love to see this interview and hear that somebody is saying that KSW, the belt of KSW is uh, his goal, goal, because a lot of fighters, and maybe let's talk about this, a lot of fighters think that KSW is just the next step to UFC. Look, look, I, I heard, you know, like uh, the champion, you know, in Bentham Racic was talking about, yeah, when I win this fight, you know, I'm one step closer to UFC, you know, if probably this is his goal, you know, and I, you know, wish him that he makes this goal. But for me, you know, I want to be in KSW, you know, it's good, it's a good, uh, how should I say, for me, this is the best promotion mm -hmm. in the world, for me, for me, this was my my goal was before UFC, 
And then, you know, I have to be realistic with me. You know, I said, hey, look, let me, you are a little bit old. I'm not old, but, you know, for UFC, they are looking for younger people, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, my brother, he's 20 years, 20 years old and he is like a wrecking machine, you know. Mm -hmm. This UFC is for him, you know. And I'm now 31, you know, and I said, hey, I can still be champion and I will be champion. But this is this is in Europe or organizations in Europe, you know, and mm -hmm. KSW is, is not only in Europe the best, you know, but uh, everybody's looking KSW, you understand? Mm -hmm. So this is my goal, you know, I don't want to be like uh, arrogant, sound arrogant or whatever, but, you know, this is my goal, you know, to be champion in KSW and, and that's it, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, before the pandemia, KSW was planning uh, three events uh, during uh, um, summer, uh, spring, uh, spring and summer. Uh, it's supposed to be held in uh, Łódź, then in Wroclaw, and then in uh, Warsaw, uh, as I've heard. Did you have any opportunity to fight in which of, mm. this, of these events? Uh, me and my manager, we were talking about, you know, and he said to me, uh, manager, I mean, two managers, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I supposed to fight on FNC on Croatia, win this fight, and then fight in KSW. You know? mm -hmm. Because we have a contract like this that I can also fight some other shows, you know. Uh -huh. And but you know, my fo my main focus is in KSW. Now, now I lost, you know. I have to win again, maybe outside or maybe you know, like like Red said, you know, if somebody gets injured, you know, you have opportunity to fight, you know. So. Mm -hmm. So you always have to be like in shape ready, you know. Okay. So, you said it. that you need eight uh, weeks to have a proper weight. Uh, yeah. So if you could get the information now that the borders are open and you can go um, to Poland and then fight there. So I know that there is uh, some event planning on uh, June or July, the first or second week of July. Uh, what now? If somebody yeah. is yeah. calling you and yeah. telling them you can fight. Then we start today, tomorrow with the diet, you know. And, <laughs> but the thing is, you know, the borders, you know, I know that Poland has a little bit strict things, you know. Yes, we and, do. And still Austria, Austria, Austria has also strict, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the borders are not open, you know. If, if, if I would enter Poland, you know, I would have to have a recommendation and like a million, thi million papers to show that I'm really yes. here on some really important stuff you know yeah so it's better to wait yeah i think this show will be poland versus poland you know this is my, mm -hmm. my my opinion you know because most of us who are outside will have to bring i don't know how much papers and you know maybe they will even not let us in you know because for example mm -hmm. i'm slovenian you know and now mm -hmm. i want to go to slovenia i can go to slovenia with my paper but I, then i cannot go cannot come back you know i have to go mm -hmm. for three weeks in quarantine or i have to pay 300 euros that they that they see that I'm clean, you know, like that mm -hmm. I that I don't have this corona or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Well, it's quite the same in Poland. If you want to go out go outside of Poland, they will not let you go. Or if you want to do it, you have to get a quarantine there in two or three weeks I, in in other countries. And I I think this will be uh, November October that mm -hmm. I'll be SW, but. Mm -hmm. I would like to fight in Poland, you know, to go to, to enemy territory and to fight <laughs> the enemy, you know. <laughs> it would, would be great, it would be yeah, great. You know, because this is, you know, you against the whole hall, you understand? Yes. You know, there is, I don't know, 25,000 people and there is only you and your, your two trainers and this other guy, you know, and then you're in, you know, then this is, this is, you know, thrill, you know, motivation, you understand me? It's, mm -hmm this kind of stuff. I do. Uh, Martin Lewandowski said in our interview that they are thinking about something he called KSW International. So they want to do an event in Poland, then um, in Croatia and in uh, Great Britain, or maybe first in Great Britain and then in Croatia. Uh, would you like to fight in Croatia then? Um, I, would, I could fight in Croatia, but uh, I would prefer now Poland that I see how mm -hmm. it's there, you know. Maybe Warsaw, Warsaw, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this was like a big dream of me, you know, to to um, to visit, you know, a little bit Warsaw, you know. And I am like a, like a little bit uh, history, you know, fan in this kind of stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. You know, to see to see Warsaw ghetto and the castles and this stuff. You know. 
Wow, great. Well, nice to see it. Uh, nice to hear it. Well, um, I think that uh, um, Warszawa will really make you a great impression because um, this is a very big and great city with a wonderful history, yeah, very tragic history also. In Europe, I know, you know. You see, mm -hmm. look, I read a lot of books, you see here. Wow. So, you know, uh, I, I read books all the time about history, about mm -hmm. the Roman Empire and uh, Mongols and stuff like this. Okay, and do you have any other cities in Europe that you would like to visit uh, besides of Warsaw? Uh, like, I like Prague a lot. Mm -hmm. I was there a couple of times. You know, this east, eastern Eastern Bloc, you know, Prague, uh, Bratislava, mm -hmm. this kind of, you know, Minsk, Belarus, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Kaliningrad I would like to visit. Um, you know, Lenin, uh, before St. Petersburg before it's yes, Lenin. yes. This, this, this kind, this, this area, you know, Ru mm -hmm. Russian, Polish, Slovakian, this kind. Nice. Of so sounds like a good plan. Okay. Uh, at the end of the interview, I would like to talk with you about UFC and about the guys who are fighting for for UFC. Now, when we know that Henry Cejudo is uh, vacating the belt and going to retirement, who do you think should get a title shot in uh, this division? Peter Jan. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter Jan and uh, um, TJ Dillashaw. Oh, yes. TJ, really? Yeah. Even well, after this uh, thing with the steroids? Yeah, yeah but yeah, steroids. <laughs> you know, you know what they, what Nate, Nate and Nick Diaz say. Everybody I know you're all on steroids. Yeah, so, and explosive word. <laughs> so I think, I think, uh, in my opinion, you know, uh, TJ should get another shot, and Peter Jan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This would be a good fight, I think. And what about Sterling? Because he's number two at the uh, uh, division and now. I, I'll mean Sterling. Mm. Yeah, maybe they're these two guys or, mm -hmm. or TJ, you know. But, you know, TJ has a good, you know, stand-up style, you know, and Peter Jan is like brutal striker. He has only one loss, and this was against, this is an ACB against uh, Magomed Magomedov, this, the mm. type. Uh, he has 10 and 1 record also. Mm. So, Dagestan fighter, he is training with uh, this Magomed uh, Sharipov, um, Zabit. Uh, Zabit, 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 yes. Yeah. He, these guys are really hard, you know. And uh, I, I think, I think Peter Jan and and and, and TJ. I, I don't know why TJ. He has to prove, you know, that he was the champion because he left the belt, you know, because mm -hmm. okay, he defended. Yeah. But I think he still, you know, because nobody beat him. Yeah, okay, so Henry beat him in in 57 kilos. This is totally under um totally different the weight class than bent yeah. weight. so i think these two should fight you know and then may, maybe the winner fights Algermain or whatever you know mm -hmm. very interesting opinion uh okay and do you even have some time to watch ufc because we have those events back and for many of uh, for many um, mma fans it's just like uh, um holidays i can say three events during eight days had you had any time to watch it? Yeah, you, you know I have uh, have two kids at home, you know, and oh, okay, yeah, okay. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm not that big fan of UFC like anymore. Mm -hmm. I like um, I like uh, these Russian leagues, you know, M1 Global or mm -hmm. ACA. You know, their fights are really brutal, you know, and I think the fighters are more technical, you know, because. You know, if if they let, if if they will let these guys in UFC, there 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 would be no American uh, or whatever champion, you know, because these Russians would demolish everyone, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is, you know, this is what I like to watch the, these two leagues, you know, like M1. Then they have this uh, RCC, uh, mm -hmm. ATA, this kind of stuff. You know what? I have a friend here in Poland. Uh, he call uh, he his name is Bysan Gurdelbiev, and he's a manager of ACA. Uh, for for Europe, I think, and I will uh, tell him to watch this uh, interview because uh, okay. Baisangur is always telling that people just love to watch UFC. Yeah. They know UFC and they know ACA less. And here I we are. Be, I would like to fight. Uh, his name is um, Abdul Rahman Dudai. He was a former champion. Uh, he was a champion of Ahmad. Mm -hmm. And then when they combined ACB and uh, Ahmad Fight uh, Club, uh, this uh, two together ah ah Ahmad Fight uh, League, mm -hmm. uh, he fought he fought with Rustam Rustam Kabilo, I think, mm -hmm. uh, um, and he lost by decision five rounds. Uh, this was his 
fourth lost. He's really, you know, like, he, this is the challenge, you know, this kind of challenge, you know. And in these fights, you know, if you win, you win big, you know, if you lose, you don't lose big because uh, a lot because uh, this guy is a real challenge, you know, these are decent fighters, you know, these are, ex- um, how should I say, experienced guys, you mm-hmm. know, and this kind of stuff, yeah. Let but me... like I said, focus, focus is KSW. Yes, <laughs> I understand. Let me, and can you tell me, are you a bigger fan of uh, Conor McGregor or um, Habib Nurmagomedov? Oh, Jesus Christ. None. I don't None? I, I, I like both of them, you know, but uh, I like more, 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 of, more this style of, of Habib, you know, this wrestling, grappling uh, mm-hmm. things. Conor, you know, Conor is also like, I don't know. Bef- at the beginning, I was really big fan of his, you know, and then a little bit, you know, with this uh, blah blah and <laughs> his behavior out of mm-hmm. the cage, and you know, I'm, you know, of who I'm really fan, you know, uh, he's here from Austria, you know. I never trained with him, you know. I want to write him on Instagram that I would really like to train with him. Uh, this is Marbek Taisumo, you know. Um, oh. Yeah, and before this, you know, before this, uh, I wanted to go to to Poland, you know, to train with with Halido, you know, because mm-hmm. I was, um, I, I think I started my career, he was already fighting, you know, and that was like 13 years ago, he fight in Dream, you know, and mm-hmm. he was fighting, I watched all of his fights, you know, this also when now he fought this Scott Eskim, you know, I, I, I bet on him, you know, okay, so long, <laughs> you know, these were these are people you know who you know I, who I really you know for example oh. Marbeck in UFC you know Halido in you know because he had these these spinning kicks you know he had submissions you know he's not just one dimensional you know he was yes. like doing these 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 you know million things you know and and you know he was unpredictable you know and mm-hmm. and this is how he win the fights and you know you know you have to be unpredictable and he was ahead of his time in that time. I think that if you will say to Red that you would like to train with Mamed Khalidov, he will for sure call Arachion Berkut and and can think, he can give it to you. I think he will see this interview, so you know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, okay, I was asking about Connor and Khabib because you know, ten years ago, when you ask somebody in which of parties uh, he is, as an MMA fan, does he love Fyodor Yemelyanenko or Mirko Krokop? Yes, there was always two parties of people. And now there are also kind of two parties of people, Habib fans and Connor fans. And you can always say when somebody's saying, I'm a fan of Connor, what do you can expect for this, uh, from this person? And also when somebody's saying that he likes Habib, then he doesn't like trash talk and, and so on and so on. So that was uh, the argument after my, my, my question. Okay, so last question. Um, if you could choose, you would like to... Uh, train with Mirko Krokop or with Fyodor Emelianenko? Fyodor. Fyodor? Yes. Why? Because he is more complete fighter. Mm-hmm. In my opinion. You know, we had a Krokop seminar in Zagreb. It was really good, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, um, my style is, you know, like wrestling and this stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have now here some Chechen trainer you know he's uh, the best wrestling trainer in the world for me umar you know mm-hmm. and we did some stuff you know like when i saw 10 years ago or 13 years ago when when feather was doing you understand mm-hmm. me and then i say hey i saw this 12 years ago you know why you know too bad that i didn't meet this guy before you know mm-hmm. and you know feather if still you know if if he would not be old you know he would still i think be smashing everyone you know mm-hmm. because this combat sambo sambo background you know wrestling judo you know and th- this is why i would choose Fedor, you know but i love mirko you know Mir- when i start to train because when i saw mirko fight Vanderlei and then mirko fight uh minotauro you know and and then minotauro catch him in armbar and you know i was at the tv i said well, why he gave up you know why he said <laughs> yeah what, ha- what happened now you know i didn't know what happened you know and and that, that that that's the time when we start when I start training, you know. So, but still, I would choose Feder. <laughs> okay, uh, let me. Do you plan to um, learn some Polish? Because if you would like to fight in Poland, then it would be good if you could say a couple of words in Polish. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Ernest could help you, I, I think. I need some instructors, <laughs> you know, man. 
<laughs> uh, I can speak some Russian, you know, but this probably wouldn't be a good idea. Well, it wouldn't be because in Poland we really don't don't yeah. like Russian people. Yeah, I know, I know. Still. <laughs> you, are, you, are, you, you are between Germany and Russia. And yeah. No, it's not good. Uh, so we don't like both of them. <laughs> no, I know this because of the history. Yeah, you know, Ernest will probably take these uh, lessons, you know. I think that Ernest can teach you some, some words, so it yeah. could be very useful uh, during, uh, during fighting in Poland and the uh, media week. So, Okay, yeah. let me. Um, it was great to see you and hear you, see that you are in a good mood. Um, so we are waiting for information about your next fight for KSW. Okay. And if you would like to say cheers to your Polish fans, then go on. Uh, my, thank, hello, my Polish fans. <laughs> I have also, I also want to say hello to my friend from, uh, I don't know, from which city is. Uh, he's a he's a black belt in Rio Grappling Club. His name is Bartek Kuczynski, you know. And mm -hmm. I say hello to them, and because they were cheering for me when I fight against your guy. Mm -hmm. And all the fans who like it's a good fights, you know, see you soon and that's it. Beautiful, thank you for your time and for this interview, <laughs> Lemmy. Hope to see you in Poland soon. Okay, ciao. <laughs>